Okay, so today we are going to continue reading. We are going to read chapter four of The Night at Dawn. Remember, Annie just ran into the castle without Jack, and Jack had to go see what was going on with her. So let's find out, okay? Oh, brother, muttered Jack. He threw his stuff into his backpack and moved toward the drawbridge. He hoped no one would see him. It was getting darker. When Jack got to the bridge, he started across. The wooden planks creaked under his feet. He peered over the edge of the bridge. Are there any crocodiles in the moat? He wondered. He couldn't tell. Halt! Someone shouted. That means stop. A guard on top of the castle wall was looking down. Jack dashed across the bridge. He ran through the castle gate and into the courtyard. He heard the sounds of music, shouting and laughter. Jack hurried to a dark corner and crouched down. He shivered as he looked for Annie. He was nervous. Torches lit the high wall around the courtyard. The courtyard was nearly empty. Two boys led horses that clumped over the gray cobblestones. One of them was the knight's black horse. Psst, Jack. Jack peered into the darkness. There was Annie. She was hiding behind a well in the center of the courtyard. She waved at him. Jack waved back. He waved until the boys and horses disappeared inside the stable. That's where they put the horses. Then he dashed to the well. I'm going to find the music. Annie said, are you coming? Okay, Jack said with a sigh. He knew that if he said no, she was still going to go. And he was her big brother and he had to make sure she would be safe. They tiptoed together across the cobblestones. Then they slipped through the entrance of the castle. Laughter and music came from a bright room in front of them. They stood at the doorway and peeked in. Looks like a lot of people having lots of fun. Look, even the light looks like a crown. The feast in the great hall, said Jack. He held his breath as he started, stared in awe. A giant fireplace blazed at one end of the noisy room. Antlers and rugs hung on the stone walls. Flowers covered the floor. People in bright clothes and funny hats strolled along among the crowd. Remember, those are the jesters and the jugglers and all the other people who tried to make them laugh. Some juggled balls in the air. Some balanced swords on their heads. Boys in short dresses carried huge trays of food. Dogs were fighting over bones under the tables. Men and women dressed in capes and furs sat as sat as at long. Crowded wooden tables. I wonder which one is the knight, said Jack. I don't know, whispered Annie. But look, they're all eating with their fingers. Remember, they didn't have any silverware. They didn't have forks and knives and spoons. Halt! Someone shouted behind them. Jack rolled around. A man carrying a tray of pies was standing a few feet away. Who art thou? He asked angrily. Jack! Squeaked Jack. Annie! Squeaked Annie. Then they ran as fast as they could down a dimly lit hallway. And that is the end of chapter four. Do you think they're gonna get caught? Oh my goodness.